So now if I had some pumpkins, some mushrooms, and some spices, I could make a traditional quesadilla. We do not, so we're gonna make chicken quesadillas today. Welcome to Real Easy Cooking with Robert. I'm Robert, and today we're gonna to make a chicken quesadilla because traditional quesadillas sound gross and I don't know why anyone would have ever made them or remembered they made them terrible back then. So we have cans of chicken that we've been saving. Uh, hopefully you've been stockpiling canned food also, but the best thing to do with it is to slowly go through it as you buy more, use your old stuff so it always stays fresh and in date. So we're gonna make chicken quesadilla. You can make case. You can make flour tortillas real easy with flour, water, uh, but this is real easy cooking, so I just went out and bought the cheap ones you can get there. They come in different sizes, and the price is usually dependent upon the size that, that you get, the size across. This is just the burrito size. They got really big ones. They got tiny little ones, too, if you wanted to make just like snack appetizer things, but I find this size works about best for most things. So first thing we're going to want to do is I'm gonna need a flour tortilla. They're real easy to make, but you'll have to make your own or there'll be another video. We have the chicken. Let's see how this looks. It looks gross as hell is how it looks. In case you ever wondered what canned chicken looks like. Now this can's a little bit bigger than the strainer, so I'm gonna to have to, instead of putting the strainer this way, I'm gonna put it that way to strain out the liquid. It smells like turtle food. Okay, take your quesadilla, fold it in half. That fold line give you kind of a guide where to go. You wanna keep your stuff on one side of that. Just break up a little bit of chicken in throughout it. Now your cheese. Cheddar cheese works good, any of the yellow cheeses. Except for if you were to just put yellow cheese on, you'll find that it gets a little gritty, kind of, as it separates and oils out. So the trick to that is to add a softer cheese to it also. That way when they mix. Now it happens to be most of your soft cheeses are white. Uh, this one's mozzarella, works real good. But any of your white cheese, so basically quesadilla should be a mix of yellow and white. Now some people put jalapenos on the top, but I've found if you put just a few on in the mix, you can control how many you get per piece. You can control the flavor, you can control how hot. Yeah. Plus that way they mix in their flavor with the cheese and the chicken. Now I fold that and that will be our quesadilla. Let's heat a pan up, put a couple drops of oil in it. And you know, I think I am going to put a little bit more cheese on the sides of this. Now I was looking at it from a distance, it looks a little thin. You can always stuff them with more. The only problem is if I put too much in there, it's going to make a hell of a mess in the frying pan. We'll find out how long I'm going to do dishes for. There, that looks better. I like mine stuffed. Alright, let's gently set this in. your spatula try help keep it closed at the beginning and we're going to put that on low heat you could also use if you had a fancy cheese melter you could use that you could use your broiler pan you could use your pizza oven but if you use your pizza oven put it foil down or put it on a pan 
because the cheese that drips off in your pizza oven makes a hell of a mess and a big stink the next time you cook a pizza. Trust me, it stunk up the whole house with just smoke from burnt cheese and yeah. Kind of like that guy who makes a cheese toasty sandwich using an iron in college and spills it and then fucks up all of his clothes with melted cheese on it. It was kind of like that, but it was pizza. So that's why I recommend a frying pan. Got smart. Used the right tool for the right job. And we're going to let this sit for about a minute or two. While it's doing that, I'm going to prep my next one or clean get a plate ready. puddle of oil is going to be for the next turn around. I'm going to flip it over. That's why I left a little puddle at one side. It's probably more oil than I need. Wish I had my oil in a spray bottle. Just put like two squirts in there and make a fine mist on the inside of the pan. All right, let's flip this over. Has a nice light golden brown hue. Put the pan so that it's now in the hot oil that was there. Now we'll let this sit for just a few minutes. Just pinching the ends shut. I hate when all the goop drips out when you try to eat it. So if you pinch it shut, you can force the cheese to glue it shut for you. All right, that is done. One quesadilla. Traditionally, you cut it into thirds, so you make three triangles. sour cream that makes the lettuce stick you can put a splash of salsa on some people put salsa on too if they like I do not Damn, that's good. Oh. I have lunch to eat now, so it's been real easy cooking with Robert and I'm done. <laughs>